And to Israel now, and these images this evening, a ball of fire following an Israeli airstrike and all of it in reaction to this. We showed you last night their faces on our broadcast, those three teenage boys lost, believed dead, one of them a U.S. citizen. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu saying they were murdered in cold blood, calling it the work of animals. Tonight, Israel taking action, and ABC's Alex Marquardt is there with the pictures. Striking back. Israel hitting hard overnight with 34 precision airstrikes on a Hamas compound in the Gaza Strip. Suddenly, this region, these two sides, possibly on the brink of war. Israel said the strikes were a response to a barrage of rockets fired into Israel by Palestinian militants. But Israel also accuses Hamas of abducting and killing those three teenage boys, breaking the heart of this country. We were there today for their funerals. These murders have struck a nerve with so many Israelis, everyone that we've spoken to saying it's deeply personal that even if they didn't know the boys, that it could have happened just as easily to them or to their families. Suddenly is a feeling of utter helplessness. So people have come down in part to show solidarity. Today, Israeli police released the emergency call made by 16-year-old Gilad Shair as they were being abducted. <laughs> We've been kidnapped, he whispers. <laughs> Keep your head down, a kidnapper shouts, followed by the sound of repeated gunshots and cries of pain. Hamas has denied being behind the abduction, but tonight, Israel's prime minister threatened to expand the crackdown against them. Alex Marquardt, ABC News, Modine, Israel.